My name is Simon and this is how to build a racing car. In Formula V we are allowed to buff our tyres, essentially remove material from the outer surface. This has a few advantages, it reduces how much the tread block may move, it reduces the rolling inertia and the unsprung mass, and it can slightly increase the contact patch as well. It's possible to have the tyres buffed when you purchase them, at a cost of course. Being a budget conscious racer, I thought there might be a cheaper way to go about it, by building my own tyre buffing equipment. In truth, my father really spearheaded this one. He spoke to some people while we were at the track and got some advice about how to do it. He had an idea about what he thought we should build, I was happy to take a back seat and follow his direction on this one. Basically we would build a stand for one of the front wheel hubs which we would bolt a wheel to. Then a motor with a wheel would be attached such that it would sit against the tyre and spin it up. I'd then be able to use a tool to remove rubber from the tyre. The stand was built using some of the old chassis jig bits. This was one of the legs that held up the chassis jig and allowed it to spin. My father cut a large steel section to create the support for the front wheel hub. Then he cut the two feet for the stand. I TIG welded the various bits together. It came together quite quickly, soon we had the stand complete. My father had a variable speed drive lying around which he was able to set up to drive the wheel. This was great as I could set the speed and direction quite easily. I cut a template which fit the existing profile on the tyre. I wanted to maintain the same profile just with a reduced outside rolling diameter after buffing. We had been advised that a surprising amount of rubber would come off the tyre while doing this. I set up a drop sheet beneath the tyre so that I could collect the shavings and then I set to work. Periodically I'd check the profile to make sure I wasn't hitting any one spot too hard. The first tyre took quite a while, maybe half an hour as I learned my way through the process. I decided for now that I'm only going to do the front tyres. I'm cautious about removing much from the rear, the engine is already maxing out for quite a while along the main straight of Sydney Motorsport Park and reducing the rolling radius will only increase the time that my engine spends at maximum revs. I may add a cambered buff to the rear tyres but I'll see how the fronts go before I go any further. Another test I did was to make sure that the tyres were uniform using a vernier and measuring the tread depth across both tyres. I also measured their final weights to ensure that they were the same. In the end I did three separate tests to make sure that they came out the same. Having not done this before, I'm not sure how easy it would be to screw something up and end up with some off-balance tyres or anything, so I wanted to be more pedantic than less. I collected the shavings after the first tyre, three compacted cups worth. It ended up being just over half a kilo off each tyre. I could probably have gone a bit further, but again, I'll take it in steps. Now that I've got the equipment, I can play around a bit and find out what works. The second tyre was much faster once I was comfortable with the method. I got it buffed up and then refit both to the car. Anyway, that was a quick look at how we went about building a tyre buffing setup and buffing a set of tyres. Since my car seems to be lacking a bit of front end grip, buffing the front should do something to improve it. We will find out at the end of this month once we head back to Sydney Motorsport Park for round 4 of the state championship. Hope you've enjoyed watching this and I'll see you on the next one.